What's up Streamland, it's barbecue weather! Nice and sunny today, I can smell the barbies. Mmm. Hope everyone's out there, hope everyone's having a great time in the sun. Staying safe. Now getting them bikes. Getting them bikes ripped. So today's vlog guys, I just want to talk about why you shouldn't buy a Harley Davidson. Pretty strange topic, but I felt it necessary to do this. So number one on the list, why shouldn't you buy a Harley Davidson? Well you get looked at an awful lot. I mean you get cars pulling up to the side of you, looking at you. You get people giving you thumbs up, people shouting things at your nice bike. You know, you get a lot of people asking you questions, which is just a ball ache. I'm only joking, man, I love answering everyone's questions. People coming over, how much was this? Man, I love your bike, it must take your ages to clean. You know, people have a lot of admiration for the Harley Davidson. It's an iconic name, it's a household name now. So yeah, you know, you get people, like I say, taking pictures, coming up by the side of you, taking pictures, wanting to race you, just thinking you're, you're pretty cool, commenting on the bike, giving you loads of positive feedback about the bike and the way it sounds and the way it looks and everything else. So that's probably number one on my list. If you're not into, you know, the attention, because it is an attention getter, it's an attention grabber. People lo love looking at it. People want to be you when you're on it. You want to, you know, you're looking cool. If you're not into that, Harley Davidson's not for you particularly not for you performance depends on which Harley Davidson you get depends on the performance if you don't want a big big bar V twin between your legs screaming I suggest it's not for you for instance I've got the V rod as everyone knows and it's just oh man <laughs> Check out my other video on my review of the V-Rod, I absolutely love it, it's just, it's just gorgeous, just instant power, beautiful, and it sounds amazing too. Uh, what's next on my list? Exclusivity, I'd say. You don't see many of them around, so if you don't want to be, you know, if you want to be the same as everyone else, don't buy one. Now I know that Harley Davidson make up about 50% of the bike market in the world so you could pretty much say one in two bikes is a Harley Davidson if you're not into that don't buy one go buy somewhere else buy a Yami, buy a Suzuki but for me although it is a bit of a contradict contradictory statement I do like being different you know I do like being different especially when 50% of the bikes are made by Harley Davidson or made up of Harley Davidson that are on the road right now sounds stupid to say you like being different but you know what I, I don't really see that many of them especially in my area I see more sports bikes and things like that and now I don't know what the reason for that is I don't know whether the, the market's being flooded with Harley Davidson's and then obviously the boom in the 80s and 90s of the the cheaper sports bikes and and obviously in uh, cruisers have come to fruition now so they're starting to filter through a lot but especially in my area I don't see many of them so yeah, if you don't like being different, don't get a Harley. Next one guys, the way it makes you feel. It's addictive. The power, the sound, the way people look at you, you know, you just feel cool. You just feel awesome, you know, like there's nothing like it. I've ridden other bikes, yeah, other bikes, all bikes are great. I don't care what you're riding, all bikes are great. You could be riding a Grom, a Scooter, a Goldwing, a Booser. <laughs> That's, that rhyme, man. I don't care what it is, they're all fantastic. They all give you that sense of freedom. But you know what, the Harley Davidson gives you that little bit more. It's just, it just ticks them boxes, man. It just makes you feel good when you're on it, no matter if you're going fast or you're just cruising. You know, I'm just cruising around right now and I feel, I feel good. I've got my bike, I've, it's polished up, it look, looks nice, it sounds apart, it goes where I need it to, I've got my kit on. Oh, that's me, you know. 
go in front of this guy. Yeah, overtaking is just effortless, man. In an issue on the rad. So yeah, if you don't want to feel great, feel freedom at its finest. You know, be out, be one with the outdoors, as cringy as that sounds. Don't buy a Harley. Next one, probably the history of the Harley Davidson and the brotherhood that goes with it. Now, now I say brotherhood lightly, but let's talk about the history. So the Harley Davidson is over a century old. It was founded in 1903. You know, I believe it was William S. Harley and the brothers Davidson who originally started the brand Harley Davidson in 1903 in a little shed in Milwaukee. You know, they were chucking out V-twins at the time and they've done a hell of a good job at it. That's over a century ago and the Harley brand is still going strong. You know, I think they've made some, some mistakes along the way. For instance, you know, they've, um, they've stopped making the V-rod. How dare they? Blasphemy. I think it's one of the worst things Harley done. I don't think everyone agrees with that, but you know what? The V-Rods brought the, the, the bikes into the 21st century and paved the way, I believe, for the newer motors. But hey, that's just me. So there's the history of it. You're buying into it. You're buying a brand, a, a household brand. You know, everyone knows what Harley Davidson is. You know, you've got to be living. On, you've got to be living under a rock if you don't know what a Harley Davidson is. It's American at its finest. You know, obviously it's an American brand, but it's just, I, I grew up with it, I grew up with the name. Everything was Harley Davidson. You know, Pete on the telly, Harley Davidson. You know, the characters on the TV all rode Harley Davidsons. So there's that aspect. And not only that, there's the following, there's the people who buy Harley Davidsons. Now this could be controversial because I know that there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of rivalry between Harley Davidson riders and then every other bike out there. Personally, I ride a Harley Davidson. I couldn't give a shit what you ride, as long as you ride. I, I really don't. And I've said this in videos, and you probably see me in, in videos waving at people on scooters uh, um, and sports bikes and, and different other cruisers. I'm more precious about who I wave to or who I say hello to or have a chinwag to. A bike's a bike. Let's get on with it, man. But the, what comes with the Harley Davidson brand is a community that I've never felt. I've been in plenty of car, car clubs and, you know, motocross clubs and stuff like that. But just, for instance, an example, uh, you know, a month a month back, I know, you know, I had a problem with the V-Rod and, and everyone knows I'm from the UK. So I had, had an issue with the V-Rod whereby parts are just not readily available over here. And I had to get this part shipped to me, well, shipped to a dealer and then to me. And it was just crazy amount of money. So on one of the Harley Davidson V-Rod forums, I just chucked up there, you know, I'm having this issue with a bike. Next minute I get an inbox, you know, off this guy called Steve. Steve's like a super nice guy. Um, you know, and he, he, he asked me for my address and he said, I have the part you need. Uh, you know, how much do you want for it, Steve? Nothing, not a button. Just give me your address. I'll, all right, well, I'll, I'll at least cover, you know, um, postage costs. Nothing at all. nothing the next thing it turned up stuck it in my bike been right ever since not an issue you know I can't thank that guy enough he's kept me on the road it's awesome but there's so many people like that in the community who just want to help each other and I'm not saying it's just this community but the Harley Davidson community is absolutely massive and the dealers are the same too I've been to a you know, couple of dealers in my time and, and the, the guys who, who work there have just been fantastic in my opinion they've, they've, have, have had, you know, they've had an endless amount of time for me for any questions even if I'm not buying anything you know, they've, they've helped me no end in answering questions let me do what I want to do it's just been fantastic so the Harley community is something to be desired do you look in that homes? Everyone loves a V-Rod, man. That's what I mean, you get a lot of looks. But yeah, the community, buy into it just for that. It's worth it. But if you don't like people get, you know, having your back and you're, you're a lone wolf and you don't want... That's fine, you can still buy one. Just know that it, it, it comes with... 
it, it, it comes with that background it comes with that brotherhood that that community behind it it's already there it's 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 in there and it's been in there for over 100 years now so fantastic i mean another another thing celebrities i mean there's some high level celebrities have owned harley davidson in, in the in the past and that's that's testament to the harley davidson itself you've had elvis yeah elvis had a harley davidson bro <laughs> Brad Pitt, uh, so what? He's got a nice chopper with a suicide shift. Yeah. We've got George Clooney, Clark Gable. You've had some high level household names. And not to mention the man who got me into bikes and the man who just got me into being kick ass in general jokes. Mr. Schwarzenegger. He's had plenty of Harley Davidsons. He still does. He still goes out for a ride now. I've seen him on YouTube not so long ago. You know, where there's been a can candid camera chasing him around. How awesome is that? The Terminator. Come on. Do I need to say more? If you don't want to be as cool as Arnie, don't buy a Harley Davidson. So that's it, guys. That's my reasons. And for all the reasons mentioned previously, that's why I bought a Harley Davidson. Because I want to stand out. I like the community that comes with it. I want to feel like a badass, and I like the power. So why not? You know, if you don't want to be a Harley Davidson riding badass like me, then don't buy one. But whatever you do decide to buy, guys, make sure you ride safe. Check out my Instagram and Facebook channels at the Scott Rod. Shameless plug. Subscribe my YouTube channel and chuck me a thumbs up. And until next time, keep your head in the swivel. I'll catch you later.